Hello gentle viewers, this is Avendi and welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 18 as the Atlanta Braves. So we completed our very first season with the Atlanta Braves and it went kind of meh. Now given how bad Atlanta was before I got here, and let's take a quick look at that. Uh, meh is a decided improvement. It's been a while since they've made the playoffs. They won the World Series in 2020. Excuse me, they made the playoffs in 2025. Haven't won since 1995. So, this is going to be the off-season episode, and we'll need to make some important decisions here. Andrew Pullen is an interesting player. That is an interesting player. But he's super old, and I probably can't afford him. What is our... Uh, payroll like this season. I need to... Yeah, cutting payroll, cutting ticket prices is fine. Um, I have absolutely no money. That's amazing. Okay, arbitration. I have got a lot of pitching prospects, don't I? So I would be totally fine with getting rid of Brett Graves. I mean, he's not that good. He's just not. So, non-tender you. Blaine Enlow. Um, that walk rate. That frigging walk rate. I would almost like to non-tender him too. He's not that good. Let's do it. Ed Gunner. You I would like to keep. I mean... Yeah, let's actually offer you an extension. Ah, oh, I can only basically offer you the ARB amount, that's fine. Teville was an awesome closer. Like, legitimately brilliant as a closer. And I don't think there's a snowball's chance in hell I can afford to extend you. I wonder if I could get you to take like a million dollars. Let's try it. No. All right, that'll save us a little bit of cash and it'll get us out of arbitration with him. Um, Alfaro was a backup catcher, and there's nothing he does particularly well except play catcher. Um, Loeb hit home runs and nothing else. Do I want to keep you? Not particularly. Let's go ahead and save a little bit more cash and cut his uh, non-tender him. Hunter Bishop is a really good outfielder. And he doesn't want all that much. I'll keep him. And then Manessis, I'll keep him too. He did okay in the war department. All right, Graham Ashcraft. I can almost certainly not afford you. 92 games. I pretty much pitched your arm off. Um, I'd love to keep you, but I'm almost positive I can't offer anyone a contract. Especially not one as big as that. Um, you'll walk, and that's fine. I don't 
want to lose Gavin Lux. Man, he actually wasn't the worst player. But again, I can't afford to keep these guys. Okay, Newman I would actually like to call up right now. Because of Brett Graves. Can I just release you now? Yeah, let's just cut him now. And then that way I can promote you and give you a chance. It'd be a pretty good start. What are you unhappy for? Yeah, you had a pretty decent season in Triple A, so I'm fine with keeping you. Uh, Luis Miranda? Eh. L'Oreal? Eh. A 27 year old who never got out of rookie ball. Somehow I don't think my team's going to be doomed without them. Okay, um, I am perfectly cool now with advancing to the awards. Ah. And I don't have a 40-man roster spot for you, do I? Ron Gregg. Can I just cut him? I release him. Yeah, let's just cut him. Then I can call up, put Owens on the major league roster. Um. I have some really bad catchers. Like, really, really bad. Muck Mosley could be a really good reliever. So I'd be more than happy to... I'm not going to keep Ashcraft anyway. Let's cut him now. I don't want to release him, but I'm going to lose him anyway. So I'm fine with that. Personal message. DeVille signed an extension. That's lovely. Continue. Best AL gloves. Ah, Joe Harris. Wasn't he the kid I drafted? Yeah. Huh. He had a really good season. And of course, Plaza. Let's be honest. He should just be good. They should just give him the gold glove every year. Just all the gold gloves. Even for like shortstop. Just like, you know what? You're, you're a gold glove shortstop too. Uh, NL. Hmm. Loeb and Collado. Nice. Yeah, Colado was a pretty decent free agent pickup for us. Unfortunately, he didn't hit worth a damn, but if he hit even a little bit, he would have been really good. Hall of Fame voting. That's always fun. Hall of Fame. Cody Allen, not, not even a tiny bit. I really like Nolan Arenado in real life. Don't get me wrong. But there's just so little here to suggest he deserves to make the Hall of Fame. If he's still on the ballot next year, I'm going to Batan say no. Ryan Braun, yes. Um... Madison Bumgarner almost threw 3,000 innings. I'm going to put him on my ballot. I'm going to put Bartolo Colon on there, too. 
just for fun. No one ever called Bartolo Colon big sexy. I don't know where the hell that came from. Josh Donaldson, that's a pretty good peak. I think we're just going to have to accept the fact that pitchers can't be as dominant as they used to be and just adjust our expectations of them accordingly. Uh, Matt Holliday, I think he deserves at least some credit. Okay. For a closer to have 28 war... I think he's absolutely a Hall of Famer. I don't think there's even the slightest bit of... Get Clayton Kershaw on there. Kershaw might be a first baller. And look at that peak for his war. Mmm. That is sexy. Uh, Craig Kimbrell, eh. I'd like to see Corey Kluber get in. I'll put him on my palette again. Um... John Lester I'd vote for, too. I'm trying to be somewhat inclusive. I'm going to try to give pitchers a reasonable amount of uh, consideration. Russell Martin would have to be pretty damn good compared to catchers, and he just isn't. Joe Maurer I like. I will vote for Joe Maurer. Uh, McCutcheon, absolutely. Only 6.7% of the vote for a guy with almost a 50 war peak? That's not common. Yadier, I won't vote for. I will vote for Buster Posey. It's not really... Okay, Joey Votto is worth voting for. I'll keep throwing votes his way. And maybe David Wright. Third base needs to be a little better represented. Submitting the ballot. Personal message. Wait, did I sign you as a manager? That doesn't sound like me. Yeah, no, my person. Why would I sign a manager? Well, oh, he might be a bench coach. Oh, but he was like a minor leaguer guy, wasn't he? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, he's going to be up there. We need a better pitching coach than, than Dumpster. Sorry, Dumpster. I'm not sorry. Um, right, Rookie of the Year award. Mm. Mm. Joe Jones, really? I don't think your parents liked you very much. Just call him Joe. Joe what? Jones, it's fine. Uh, David Bell, congratulations, David Bell. AL MVP, NL MVP, or Cy Young, excuse me. I'm not going to have anywhere near MVP. Arbitration hearings. I should win most of these. And a trade proposal's already expired. Did you seriously trade? Oh, I guess Guerra is not that good anymore. You traded a pretty damn good prospect just to get Nomar Mazzara, huh? who's really a pretty good hitter. So I guess that's okay. I know I shouldn't really be watching Cleveland so much, but it's hard to say no. Uh, the Dodgers might want to sign Ashcroft. Good for them. Let's go to free agent. Here we go. Did I lose any of these? I don't think I did. Nope. 
Okay, you will trade me Ty Arnett for Pineda. Mm. He's a very good first baseman. Oh, but you're asking for an awesome pitching prospect in, in return. I'm not necessarily opposed to it. And Arnett is a pretty decent hitter. But the thing is, I don't have a replacement for Pineda. Because Spencer's actually gone. Mutchler had an awesome year in Triple A. He had a really good year in Triple A. Um, much is already better than Barriente. But Barriente is really good, too. He's got a knuckle curve. I couldn't demote a guy with a knuckle curve. Um... Should I go ahead and put Moochler on the 40 man? The, the thing that worries me about him is that stuff. If his stuff is good enough, he'll be a great pitcher. His stamina is not so great either. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> What do we do with you, Senor Donny? I think we'll give you a shot in spring training, but I'm not going to add you to the 40 man just yet. Are there any objectively bad players? Well, let's wait until free agency files, because then I should get a lot more open spots on my 40 man. We have to remember we're still a rebuilding team, so we can't be jumping on players and throwing them on the roster willy-nilly. We have to treat our roster spots as precious. I'm not going to be able to afford any of those guys. <clears throat> Alex Brinkman, huh? Still playing. Hmm. I have zero dollars for a free agency. Who has some money for extensions? So let's take a quick look at our team and see players who we might want to extend. Who the crap is Randy Fish? He's a really good pitcher. That's what he is. I mean, he is 27. We'll wait and decide what we want to do with him. DeVille. As a closer, I have absolutely no problems with you. I would like to extend you for like four years if you'll take it. No. Three years. No. Okay, four years, I'm going to give you a pretty considerable raise. This is a lot of money. And of course he's gonna take it, good. Um, that'll get our closer locked down, which is exciting. Who else do we wanna consider? I'm not gonna resign Louise. Not at that price. Who else might be worth extending? Loeb. Let's give him time. I want Fitch to give me another season of excellent performance. And if he gives me that, then we'll talk extension. Because his peripherals look decent, but they're not, like, eye-popping. It looks really good, though. We'll see. Okay, let's go up to the Wintour meetings. 
trade proposal. For Fitch, you'll give me a bad left fielder and a bad second baseman. No, I'm just going to reject that. I don't necessarily object to trading things. I don't need to check to trade pitch errors, but I have to get a pretty good package. Uh, mostly gets a setback. Winter meeting. And I locked him up. And I like DeVille. I don't like that I can sign literally zero players. How much is he getting these days? He might break 3,000 hits this season. He's not making as much money as you might expect. Let's just look at Mike Trout's stats for a little bit. Mike Trout might be... Wow. And he's he's still hitting. I mean, 238 might not be the greatest batting average, but look at the rest of that slash line. I wish he played for me. <sighs> but alas, no such luck. What do we have in terms of assets that could be traded for even better assets? Do we consider trading Mutchler for a couple of really good offensive prospects? Because there's enough red flags here. Let's look at a scouting report. They kind of love him, like, a lot. Luera has such good stamina. Gerardo has the potential to be an outstanding pitcher, and I don't want to lose him. Let's talk about... Let's try to flip Bazell for, like, an offensive prospect. Or he's a decent offensive player. Okay. Luis Avina... Is a decent outfielder. Uh, he's a DH. There's a word for a player with his abilities. That word is DH. A very good outfielder with very little offensive capability. A plus shortstop. I don't dislike that. Noel Crouch, very good hitter, although he is a left fielder. Who's my current left fielder? It's Romero, who is quite young. Crouch isn't a center fielder, but he is 28, and he is a left fielder. Oop, hang on, Alfredo Longoria. I'd be taking a risk, but he's a really good outfielder, and I just don't have that in my system right now. Let's see if I can get you to throw anyone else in. We have so many good prospects, Houston. This is not fair. What about, like, a John Spear? 
Nah, you'd need a lot more. You know what? This is strength for strength. I have lots of extra pitching. Um, I need a new outfielder. I can live with that deal. That made our team better in the long run. Hello, Rule 5 Draft. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I've got decisions to make. Very important decisions, right. I've got five spots open. Mutchler's gonna get one. Gerardo's gonna get one. Antoine could be a very good reliever. RJ Rulo is a decent outfielder without a very good bat. I've got plenty of those. Longori's is like the best outfield prospect I've got. Oh, I want to promote you to high A. Where's my other guy? My second baseman. Braden Thexton. Let's give him a full season in single A and see how he does. Okay. Um, I've got three spots open. I don't think people are likely to take Rulo. If they do, oh well. Shane would be a good reliever. And I will go ahead and protect Antoine. Maybe I should protect Rulo. Or Dicoule, maybe? Let's protect him. All right. And then let's sim up to the Rule 5 draft. Because the Rule 5 drafts are where we're going to get the players that could be useful to us. Uh, rule 5 draft. <clears throat> Until my next pick, please. Now, right away, I don't care about pitchers. Ernesto Castro, very good power hitter, but he plays the same position. And I don't think Carrios can play any position. No, Carrios could play left. Yeah. Let's take Ernesto Castro. Let's check his injury history, actually. Let's take him. Do it. Can't draft play roster spot. Oh, I don't have a forty man roster spot. Whoopsie. No, he can refuse. Juan Mendoza. I think I could safely waive you. Now let's take him. I want Castro. Bam. Okay, right away we're going to change Karyos to a left fielder. And then Castro can play right. And that adds even more power to my lineup. That was good. I like that. The Rule 5 draft comes through again. And then I don't care about the rest of the Rule 5 draft. I won't pick anyone else. I doubt I'll lose anyone. I might lose someone, I guess. I did not. A 
the Hall of Fame voting. That was a really good deal. I'm so excited. Uh, Mendoza. You can play in Triple A. Smell you later forever. I don't know why I just said that. I don't know what it has to do with anything. Um, by the way, um, because I've moved, I know the acoustics in my recording area are a little bit different. Let me know if I need to adjust my volume. Um, and I will for the next episode. Hall of Fame votes. Jansen and Kershaw. Kershaw was almost unanimous. And Posey. Uh, poor Joe Nathan. I'm not actually that upset. Joe Nathan is kind of meh. That was pretty good. I'm three first-year players. Not at all common. But it's hard to argue that like Kershaw didn't deserve it. I don't know why I didn't vote for Kimbrell. I honestly just forgot about him. Bumgarner will get it next year, I bet. But yeah, Kershaw is just clearly an amazing pitcher and deserved it. Congratulations, gentlemen. Preseason begins. <laughs> Advancing to the preseason. Are we going to hit? I don't know. Personal message. Yeah. $134 million. You hate me. You don't actually want me to succeed. You don't want me to succeed at all. We'll sim up to spring training. And then what I'll do is I will set the I'll set up the lineup and everything at the end of this episode. Oh, fans are unhappy about losing Sam Spencer. Well, you know what? I would have liked to keep you, but I had no money. Like your fans burned half the city down because you lost Sam Spencer. Well, if Sam Spencer had been a better hitter, I would have made a better effort to keep him, but... Yeah, once we get rid of people like Ruiz, who's just objectively terrible... Yeah. Okay. Uh, spring training begins... I'm going to let the AI generate our lineups and our pitching. Uh, anyone I want to give an, a, an invite to? Man, we are cranking out the pitching prospects. He's another one who's going to be more like a bullpen guy, though, with that stamina. He's a spark plug. We can give him an invite. He'll get a little bit better pitching with the Major League roster. Uh, McKinnis was the first round pick. Uh, sure, you can have some spring training. Ben Webb, eh. Wardell did hit 290 last season. And I'm not overwhelmingly thrilled with my present shortstop. Okay, Maytan is pretty good. Let's go ahead and let Wardell have a spring training invite. Then I'll rebuild my lineups. Rebuild my pitching staff. And there we go. To opening day. Three days for Collado. Oh, um, Henry Owens, 
how long until you are completely healthy? Two months? Let's go ahead and put you back on the 60-day DL. Because you're not getting ready for opening day. A concussion for Kevin Harris. And it's substantial effect. So I will go ahead and put you on the DL for that. Such a weird change of business. I just finished recording FHM, and now I'm playing this, and it's like, oh, injuries actually matter. I can't just scratch the player. I have to put him somewhere. So let us continue. Dan Dixon is out for a week. I'm just going to take him off the roster. And we'll just let the uh, AI managers handle him. We will let the AI managers handle him. Barriente is still injured. We don't know when he'll come back. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. Three weeks for Kevin DeVille. Oh, not my closer. Man. You guys stink. You can't injure players I don't care about. Yeah, you can just suck it up, Colado. Hunter Bishop, I'll put him on the DL. Why are you bothering me with stuff for three days? Did you change that in one of the patches? Yeah, a player has to be out at least for five days for me to care. I mean, three days isn't even up to justify benching him. Okay, Harris can come back. Great. Devilles. Oh, we don't know about Loera. We don't know how long he'll, how long he'll be out. Now Mosley's got a dead arm. Give me just a moment. We'll continue. Bishop can come back. I don't really care, but I guess that's not too bad. We'll sum up to April the 4th, then we'll make our decisions. We'll simulate up to April the 4th, and then we'll make our decisions. Game is saving. Personal message. Uh, Wardell's time in spring training was apparently very beneficial for him. That's good. Okay. All right, and there we are. Okay. So first of all, McKinnis, you can go back to double A. Wardell can go to double A. There was someone else on the roster who should be removed, and I can't remember who it is. Hmm, doesn't matter. Right. So we got to get rid of ten people. Three of them have to be pitchers. I've got a lot of starters right now. Okay, Antoine, obvious choice. Gerardo, obvious choice. 
If I wave Bariente, someone might take him. Um... Olivos, maybe? How many pitching, starting pitchers do I have? I have a lot of them. But some of these guys are actually properly relievers. Let's see, who's got really low stamina? Okay, Pat, Shane, let's start converting you. You're a reliever now. That'll tell me actually how many players I actually have. A Levosk I can send down. That's fine. That leaves me with 13 pitchers. I need to get rid of one more. See, Newman's more of a relief. No, Newman could actually stick as a starter. He'd be borderline, but he could stick. Let's give him one more year in the minors. Okay, pitching about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven starters. That's seven too many. Um, right. Give me pitcher ratings. Sort by stamina. Uh, Brocky is a reliever. He just is. Um, that leaves us with how many starters? I'd like to try Mutchler at least in the beginning as a starter, and then we'll go from there. Kevin Nelson could actually be a starter. Maybe I should make him one. How many starters do I have right now? Six? That's fine. That's fine. And then I want to clear my pitching staff. Let's put the pitching staff together. So. Anderson is clearly my ace. And start Anderson for opening day, unless he's tired. He is exhausted, so I should Google drop down. It should know immediately what it should do, but that's fine. Um, Odane, Fitch, Let's make Mutchler the number five, Luera the number four, and Barriente can be long relief emergency starter. Okay, now let's look at all relievers. I need a short term closer, which is probably going to be Silva. You're going to be my closer, 8th plus, high leverage. Um, Gunner's going to be set up. I'd like one more set up guy. Nelson. Um, okay. Of Padilla and Brachia. Padilla has almost no split, although he does have better strikeouts against... What about Brachia? You have... Not really. Either one of you could really be either one. So let's go ahead and make both of you middle relief slash specialists. And we'll just let the AI decide at any given time who should be the pitcher. And then Pat Shane will just be generic middle relief. But I do want him to avoid high leverage. Because with his weak control, it's going to take a while before I really trust him. 
Okay, lineups. We need to get rid of, what, seven players? Seven players. Um, Orozco's an obvious choice. I don't need three catchers. Uh, I don't need you yet. How many infielders do I have? Just infielders. I have six. And Rizzo I would get rid of, but I can't. How many outfielders does that leave me with? A lot. Okay, the outfielders are where I'll make my last four cuts. A Roscoe, obvious choice. Brandon would be an obvious choice, but I can't get rid of him. You can go down. I gotta get rid of two more outfielders. What changed about you? Hill doesn't like you. Ah, because OSA thinks you have a lot more power and Hill isn't quite sure. He's a hard worker, so that's something. Um, uh, Romero, you're going to start the, the year in AAA. And then I'll go ahead and wave Bishop, and we will send him to the miners as soon as it becomes possible. Okay. So let's start by clearing everything. And we'll start putting the team together. So, batter ratings of the catchers, who's better? We started every day last season and was barely competent. Alfaro hardly played at all. I'm willing to give Alfaro a shot. Because he is the better catcher. Okay, Loeb is going to be first base. Collado will play second. Harris is just better at third. Uh, Maytan will play it short. And then Karyas will play in left. Pineda in center. And Castro in right. Right. Um, okay, Ruiz is already set. Rizzo, I think, can play third. Rizzo's just going to be a pinch hitter. I'm not even going to let him play in the, in the field if I can avoid it. Queen can back up every position, including center. So Queen's going to get a little bit of time at first base this season as well, I think. Queen. We are, um, Manessis will back up and left, he'll back up and right. Brannon, he can, actually I think I actually have Queen back up in center too, and then Brannon can play here. Okay. Uh, Manessis is going to be a pinch hitter. Brandon fast. Brandon is pretty fast. Brandon will be a pretty good pinch runner then. And I think that'll do it for this. Let's just get the order changed. So. Batter ratings I. Of course, the best person, the person with the best eye is actually Manassas, and he's not even playing every day. Um, we 
can make Pineda the leadoff guy to start off. Wait, let's check contact too. Yeah, let's go ahead and make uh, Pineda the leadoff guy for now. Um, number two hitter will be Maytam. Kari also bat third. Castro will bat cleanup. Okay, those are all of our best hitters except for Rizzo. Um, we'll do Collado then Harris after Loeb. No, we'll actually do Harris then Collado, then Loeb, then Alfaro. Right. And then we'll just take this lineup and this depth chart and we'll paste it over like so, like so, like so. I didn't see anyone with a strict platoon advantage. That might be something to investigate. Um, as the season progresses, and then Joe Rizzo will be our DH. No, actually, um, Manessis will be our DH. Against, yeah, it'll be Manessis, and then uh, Rizzo will be the main backup. And then Rizzo here, Manessis here. And that'll mean Brandon will get a little more playing time in the outfield, which is fine. Which is fine. And I think the only other thing I'd like to do is make sure Manessis gets a decent amount of playing time. Um, so let's go ahead and start him once a week. just to give Castro a bit of a break and let Manessis get a few at-bats in here and there. Um, right. So I think that'll do it for this episode. We've got our lineup set up. We've got our pitching staff set up. And uh, apart from that, our next... Oh, we actually need to send a couple of days up to opening day, don't we? Another trade proposal. Okay, I do need a pretty good catcher. That's a really good pitcher. Tatum's not great. But... So Tatum would clearly be the best catcher on my roster. I don't want to give up DeVille. Let's discuss the trade. Yeah, it's either DeVille or Fitch. You really like Tatum. What if I drop Gripper? Because Tatum's actually the one I want. Nope. I can't do it. I can't do it. Him up to opening day, which should mean that actually DeVille's ready to go, which will mean I need to adjust, adjust my relief staff again, but that's fine. Uh, expectation, stay respectable, top 100 prospects, none of them belong to me, we can talk about that next time. Um... Rosters. Yeah, mostly and DeVille are ready to go. Cool. All right, so pitching-wise, let's send down Shane. And who else am I not enthusiastic about? Padilla. And then we'll call up Mosley and DeVille. Okay, so 
you are my closer. High left reach. You are now the seventh inning setup. Gunner is going to be the sixth inning setup. And Kevin Nelson's just going to be a middle reliever. Mosley is actually should be a setup guy too, maybe. But I think we'll just make him middle relief for now. And maybe make him use more often and then decide what happens later on. So, perfect. Um, this now means, by the way, I only have one lefty in the pen besides Gunner. So your secondary is going to be middle relief. But I want you to be mostly a lefty guy. So, that's good. That's really good. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed the episode. If you have, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. I apologize for some of the sound things I said a little bit earlier. It's going to take some time to use this recording environment. Um, do let me know if uh, you heard anything sound-wise. Um, I can adjust things on the microphone to maybe make it a little bit better. Um, but apart from that, this has been Avindian, and I bid you a good day.